We're back in Italy and we're back living off gelato. Thank you. Round two and three here in Liguri. We got Pietra Liguri and then Finale Liguri next weekend. Unfortunately, round two and three are also the final rounds of the World Series this year, so we got to enjoy it while we can. Stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, stage five. <laughs> water from weird streams. They definitely did some good trail work. I just think that now because it's so dry and dusty, we've pretty much just laid waste to all of it, which is, sorry Pietra, I don't know. It's pretty hot. We're just trying to manage our, our expectations, <laughs> <laughs> our water intake, our food, staying out of the sun too much, and yeah. Parking madness! <laughs> Everyone tries to steal it! It's ours! You're not allowed to park that. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> not like last year! <laughs> it's Pietra race day. We were awakened by some lightning and thunder this morning. It's been downpour. Who knows? Ain't nobody here to guide me. I have an approach for this one is trying not to be any different. Obviously, it's not a position I'm, I'm used to being in as much. Starting last on the day is pretty surreal. Um, it's really cool. And I think the biggest thing is like, you just second guess everything. Because now that it's all worked, you're like, well, what worked and what didn't work? And so I'm just going back to what it is in that. And just kind of bringing it back to the base and just trying to ride really well. Stage one and two was actually pretty sick. Um, stage one, I had a really good time on. The, I thought it was better in the wet with a little bit of rain. And stage two, like, was never really my favorite track, but it was all right. And then uh, heading up to stage three, it just started raining like pretty serious. And uh, decided to pull the goggles off or take the lens out of goggles, drop it in, and just start getting like mud. Not in my eyes, but around my eyes, for sure. <laughs> Props to anyone who went really freaking fast on those tracks, because that was impressively difficult. I have to watch my GoPro, but I'm pretty sure in practice I said, don't put your front wheel too low on this one corner on stage one, and I did exactly that. These rocks kept on like coming out, and it's super slippery. And I just like front wheel out, twisted my bars, and I kept riding I was like I should be really twisty. So I got off, twisted them too far the other way, and I was like, well, screw it. And then I just rode the rest of the stage with my bars twisted. And I was pretty stuck with how I rode like that actually. And then I was angry, so I won stage two. And then stage three, I just, yeah, I was just scared. I took my lenses out last second, and I think that was a mistake because. I was just getting too much mud on my eyes and it was pretty quick and I was just scared of like getting a piece of mud in and just going off track. And then four and five, yeah, somehow were just way better. Like they were super slippery and like sketchy and you're just like, holy crap, it's blown, but you could just hold traction pretty well and it was really, just really fun riding a bike on that stuff. Like really brought out the best technical riding that you could do. I ended up sixth overall, but if 
first non-French person, so I'm gonna make myself a little medal and celebrate that. <laughs> to me, that shows that I have to come to Europe to race uh, because we changed our bike so much. Like it's so different from home, and like for it being my first race of the year, my first European race, like I think. I just like had to get on the level and it took me a couple stage like I was really disconnected in the first two, three and uh, then I kind of did better in stage four and five but I still feel really far from what I actually can do so I give myself 67% this was an exam. <laughs> <laughs> Try something different, like flavor, different flavor. It's shake down! Tomorrow's the last race. I don't know, it feels all super weird. I feel like it's not the last race, but I'm kind of glad it is because I'm excited to go home. Um, it's been like super stressful for me to be away in the COVID and to be in a bubble of a lot of people. And it's a lot of stress to manage that adds on to the normal race stress. Had four stages today. Um, two of them were pretty sick. Two of them were kind of classic finale, um, quite pedally, technical, little jank, if you will. Stage three is like a new one we've never raced before. It's uh, quite rocky and slippery and tight. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot of skill to get through there quick. really happy with how I rode but I'm disappointed because my result really doesn't show that. Um, I had like a mishap with some blown out tape on stage two and then I went and then I was like gonna cross the tape if I kept going so I went back up and I just hiked to like go back on track and <laughs> that actually made me ride really angry and I ended up only being back 22nd on that stage so I think that was my best riding of the day. Just a little disappointed it's not showing into a good result after like everything, all the stress of coming all this way. It would have been sweet to get home with a little something, but I'm also really happy I managed to race in the new world. So a new COVID world, because <laughs> uh, that's going to be one of the biggest pieces I have to work for. I was riding pretty good. I felt like, felt like I was Hit my corners, hit my lines pretty well, but uh, yeah, I just won a little section and got a little tight and I just took a tree like right to my shoulder and yeah, it's a bit frustrating. Just this season hasn't been as sick as I was hoping for. Had a pretty good last stage. Fuck, that was hard. Like, it's yeah. definitely more uphill than downhill on that one. Well, Tommy, it's been the jankiest three races I've ever had in my entire life. Well, Tommy, let me tell you, it's been the jankiest season of our career, and we haven't even raced yet. And, uh, yeah, we're going home. First two were sick, like, nice to start the day on a good good note with uh, fun trails, and I really just, like, refocused on the first one, and every, like, so often I was like, okay, just, just have fun, like, just ride, you're riding your bike, it's sick. And that worked out well for that one. The next one, same thing, like, just, Rode well, told myself to just corner like people who know how to corner can corner. And then those cobbles at the bottom, man, I like, I went fast from practice. I was like, okay, I can go fast again. At my breaking point before like a turn and some rough stuff, I swear I pulled my brakes and I was just skidding in a straight line on the cobbles, not falling down. Give it up to my mechanics because these things are just 
taking everything right now. It feels good. There's nothing quite like uh, finishing on top, knowing how much work you've done. And this is like, I don't know, eight, more than eight years in the making for sure. And to kind of be consistent, I don't think I've ever won two or three stages in a row, maybe outside of Whistler, but that felt really good to go 1-1 one, one in the first two because, yeah, I have a tendency to go really well and then maybe make a mistake. So you do all this work and you hope that it kind of pays off. And then for a long time it doesn't, but you still have to keep doing the work and then eventually it pays off. So. I just like, just have fun, and for me, fun is fast, and fast is fast. Quick. Quick.